and then you're going to name it. Yeah, you're going to name your soccer ball. That's right. Sounds crazy. It ain't crazy. I've named my ball. Look how old I am. I'm not ashamed. My best friend is my soccer ball. Let me introduce you to my friend. Here he is. Just having a cup of tea with him out here in my backyard today. And let me tell you who he is. His name is Frankie Bumbolini. That's right, Frankie Bumbolini. Where the heck did this guy come up with Frankie Bumbolini? I'm going to tell you where I came up with. I came up with Frankie Bumbolini because, you know what? I have a wonderful daughter. Her name's Sabrina. She's a beautiful singer. And by the way, she's filming you right there. Forget about that. Can't turn it around, right, Sabrina? Can you turn it around? How you going? There she goes. Okay. Anyway, but I never had a son. So I always wanted to have a son. And had I had a son, I would have named him Frankie. Why Frankie? Because I have this wonderful uncle, Uncle Frank, and I have a cousin named Frankie that's like my brother, my brother-in-law Frankie. The, the name Frankie, every Frankie I know is a cool dude, so I would have named him Frankie. <laughs> where the heck did Bumbolini come from? You wanna know where Bumbolini came from? I'll tell you where Bumbolini came from. You gotta have fun, you gotta be creative. You're gonna name your ball, don't just come up with any name. Think about it, be creative, make it fun. Bumbolini, because I thought, score a goal. You're in a stadium, 100,000 people. The guy scores the goal. And what if his name's George? George, George, George. That's not a cool chant. But how about Bumbolini? 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 So, my ball's name is Frankie Bumbolini. Okay? Now, me and Frankie do everything together. I mean, what I'm telling you, my wife always goes, do you have to take him to bed? And right now, in a few minutes, I'm going to show you how you take care of your soccer ball, how you befriend it, a few different things that you can do to make it fun. And I want all the kids out there to go get your ball. Remember... Remember, make sure you got enough air in it. Not too much, not too little. Look, I got my pump right here, okay? Because having too much air or too little air is like a baby. You feed it too much, it cries and poops. You don't feed it enough, it cries anyway. You can't have a cranky ball. Make sure it got enough air in it. Then you're gonna name it. You can draw on it, you can make it fun. It's your ball, it's your best friend. In these times when you can't talk to your friends, this guy, don't worry. He's immune from the disease. Okay, so now once you got the ball, you're gonna do a bunch of different fun things with it. So follow me right now, and we're gonna go to the next thing, and I'm gonna show you how you can take your ball and include him in just about everything you do all day long. Also, once you get your ball and you name your ball, right, I would like you to take a video of you introduce your ball and his name maybe why um you named it also i would like you to show me an activity or two of you sharing time with your best friend send it into 